What's going on, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. You're looking at the first hurricane of the 2022 hurricane season. It's going to make landfall about 24 hours early, right around May 30th, possibly May 31st. This is a very slow-moving storm over in the, the eastern Pacific. This is Hurricane Agatha, and according to the, the National Hurricane Center, it's going to make landfall as a Category 1, quite possibly a Category 2 storm. This hurricane is moving very, very slowly forward movement of three miles per hour practically stalled so once it does make landfall that very slow movement is going to equate to very high rainfall totals some areas could see as much as 24 inches of rain extending from santa cruz to salina cruz and this entire area of southern mexico once again the first hurricane making landfall practically on the first day of hurricane season 24 hours early in 2022 the official start once again is june 1st also in this video we're going to talk about a possible historic night on the night of may 30th into may 31st of 2022 in fact tomorrow night could be a historic night one like no other we're going to have a front row seat for a possible historic celestial event. You guys will want to stick around for those details. Coming back over here to the website, I'd like to give an Earth Day shout out to, to Shannon Biggs and Gabe from your friends Jackie and Lou, whose birthday was May 28th. Jennifer Powers, May 27th. Chris Friedley and Troy Russell all had birthdays on May 29th. Hope you guys had an excellent day. Coming back up here to the Schumann Resonance, looking at the, the most recent data, two and a half days worth, and you can see in the last 12 hours there was a large spike lasting about three hours origins of that energy unknown hopping over to the yellowstone supervolcano caldera looking at the seismographs that that monitor the mighty supervolcano looking at mammoth vault up here in the the far northern reaches of the the caldera and you can clearly see the the bright red signature on this seismograph i'm assuming that's some sort of earthquake activity normally when we see earthquake activity those red vertical lines look more like you see here at Little West Thumb. That is a overwhelming red signature. Once again, at Mammoth Vault, that would be at the, the north end of the supervolcano Caldera. I don't necessarily think it was a large earthquake. Could be something as simple as a mechanical glitch. Not sure. Something, again, we're keeping a very close eye on, especially over here at, at Hebgen Lake, as we've seen some unusual activity on that seismograph. Again, that's the location of the 1959 7.2 magnitude earthquake. Looking at power outages over here at poweroutage.us, this is a rare sight. You don't see this very often. Power outages in Arizona. We don't get a, a lot of storms out here. And right now we're looking at 2,911 customers without electricity down in Yuma, Arizona. Right now, the rest of the country looks pretty good, with the exception of California right now, 14,319 without electricity in California. Texas, 3,000. And again, Arizona at 2,900. Don't normally see that. I want to take you guys now back to the, the feature story over here at spaceweather.com. Article dated May 25th of 2022 by, by Dr. Tony Phillips talking about a debris field left behind by Com at 73P Schwassman Walkman back a few years ago and Earth is headed right into this debris field. You can see a photo here by the Hubble Space Telescope of the comet as it was going through the inner solar system and leaving behind a incredibly large debris field. Here's another image of that debris field. Earth is headed right into that debris field right now as I do this video. Tomorrow night could be historic. Forecasters are predicting this. Tomorrow night around 1 a.m. Eastern time, which would be May 31st, 10 p.m. Arizona time, which would be May 30th, we could see in the neighborhood of a thousand or more meteors per hour from this debris field left behind by Comet 73P. Here's the ideal viewing location of this radiant left behind by that comet right out here in the desert southwest. In fact, California Baja is where this radiant is going to be tomorrow night at 10 p.m., 1 p.m. Eastern time. And people in the southwestern United States are going to have front row seats to this potential historic activity tomorrow night. We could see meteors again eclipsing a thousand or more 
per hour. I've got the batteries over here on the right-hand side of my desk charging. We're going to have the, the cameras ready on tripods. We're hopefully going to have clear skies. If it's not clear, we're going to be out anyway because, again, out here in the southwestern United States, California, Arizona, New Mexico, uh, southern Utah, uh, you guys are going to have a spectacular view for quite possibly one of the most historic meteor showers. This could be a once-in-a-lifetime event if Earth goes right in the center of the densest part of one of these debris fields. There's more than one, so we'll have to wait and see. The American Meteor Society has seen an increase in activity in the last few days. You can see May 12th, 560 reports from Great Britain. On May 16th, 895 reports out of Great Britain. And last night, there were 33 reports of a, a bright fireball up in the Vermont, Maine area. In fact, here's a, a video of that fireball captured by Daniel Phillips, submitted to the American Meteor Society. This is the fireball that was seen in the skies uh, above Vermont and Maine last night around 10 15 p.m. Once again, that incredible video was taken by Daniel Phillips, and all of these reports were submitted over here at the American Meteor Society, who again have been very busy with what looks like a significant amount of fireballs being reported. Just in two events alone, there were over 1,400 people submit reports on the 12th and 16th. And I'd like to say great job to all you guys that submitted your reports over here to the American Meteor Society. It's very user friendly. If you happen to see a meteor in the nighttime or daytime sky for that matter, come over here to the American Meteor Society. You can find the link down below in the description box. Click on this blue tab up here at the top of the website that says report a fireball and it's very user friendly. So once again, we're seeing an uptick in fireball activity and we could be in for a historic night if this thing unfolds as it potentially could. Earth is entering a very thick debris field and we could view tomorrow night after 10 p.m. Arizona time, 1 a.m. Eastern time, possibly a thousand or more meteors per hour. That would definitely be a once-in-a-lifetime event. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.